everyone! Today is going to be a super fun video because this is going to be another three-way face-off. I did one of these like a month ago, maybe it's like three weeks ago. I did one with Katie Marie and Betty Jean and you guys seem to really really like that. So I was able to get two more people to do a face-off collab with me. So today we are going to be doing another one and we're going to be using the Hasina 2 palette by Blush Tribe. So the people that I am collabing with today is going to be Lindsay over at Nerdy Girl Makeup. I did a collab with her not that long ago where we used every shade in the Certified Destiny palette and that was so much fun. So I will link her up in the corner as well as down in the description box along with her video. And the other person that I am also doing this face off with is going to be Alexandria. Her channel name is Eyes of Alexandria. She changed her name from Alexandria S. So not really sure why she did that. I haven't really asked, but that is her current name now. So I think she is amazing. I've been watching her for probably like seven months. I think I found her right after I started my channel. So it's been a very, very long time. And I feel like it's just overdue that we do a collab together because I don't know why we haven't already. I feel like I feel like she's one of the people that I should have done a collab with so long ago. I'm so sorry, Alexandria. Like you need to reach out to me and like ask me because I totally would do a collab with you. I probably should have reached out to you, but you know what? I'm shy. So I will of course link her down in the description box and up in the corner as well as her video down there if you want to go check that out. Today we are going to be using the Zoom 2 palette. If you don't know what a face-off is, this is a concept that was started by Danielle Schmidt. I will leave her channel down in the description box as well if you want to check her out. But basically the concept is that two people or however many people are in the face-off are going to be using the same colors from the same palette and then creating a look with it just to see like how many different looks you can come up with using the same shades. I just think it's such a cool concept. So we have already drawn the shades. I don't remember who drew the shades. I think Lindsay drew the shades and we decided to go with six shades instead of five because after the first five we literally had only green. So we decided to go for another one and I will show you the shades that we ended up picking up. So the first one we got was Erin right here. We also got, what is this one called? Mahia? as well as Mani and Ash. So these are going to be all the mattes that we're using. So as you can see, it's a pretty monochromatic color scheme so far. <laughs> and then we also ended up getting two shimmers and that was Jade. So, I mean, basically these were like the first five colors that were drawn and we were like, you know what, that's kind of boring. Let's just draw another shade. So we ended up drawing another shade and we ended up with Mina, which is the shimmery blue down here so I mean it makes it a little bit more interesting at least even though it still could have been I don't know more interesting but I still think that this is going to create a very pretty look and a very cohesive look it's not going to be like super challenging but I think that we're all going to try to think out of the box because I feel like there's the obvious look to do with this and I don't think any of us wants to do the obvious. So I think all of these looks are going to be very interesting despite the color scheme. So let's just get into it because I've been thinking about this for a while. I kind of have a plan on what I want to do and I think I want to try something new today. So you know what better way to do that when you're trying to do something a little bit different. So I'm gonna start by priming my eyes with my MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre as always. If only you guys knew how many times I had to get through that intro or how many times that I just blanked or interrupted myself. It's kind of ridiculous. Some days I can get through my intro in one take and other times it takes so long. So I've been filming now for seven minutes and I'm sure that this is going to be like three minutes into the video. So, you know, that says a lot. So I haven't fully thought this look through, but I think what I want to do to start off is I want to build up a three colored crease. So instead of showing you the palette, I'll just show you on my hands. So I'm first going to go in with the lightest of the green shades in my inner corner. And then I'm going to put the mid shade right here in the middle and then put the dark green on the outside. And then I'm going to cut my crease and I'm going to try something a little bit different with the black and I'll kind of show you when we get there. But first going to dip into Erin, which was the lightest of the green shades. And I'm going to be packing that, like I said, in the first third or so of my crease here. And the shadow is so pigmented and it's one of my favorite shades in this palette. So it's a little bit awkward to be working with a blush dry palette now, but this collab was decided before the whole neon palette, you know, not scandal, but you know, the tea spilling video that I did that thankfully a lot of you guys were on my side on because that was like kind of hard for me to post, but I really appreciate the feedback that I did get on that video. And I am pulling these shadows up pretty high because like I said, I am gonna go in and do a cut crease. So I just kind of prefer having the shadows up high when I do that. So next up, I'm gonna take this shadow right here, which was called Mahia. 
and I'm gonna be placing that like in the middle of my crease and the reason why I'm not building these on top of each other and like starting with the lightest and going darker is because I feel like you're not gonna really see the difference that much and I mean you can't really see the difference this much this way either but I thought maybe putting them next to each other it would be more obvious that they are different but these two shadows are definitely looking pretty similar on the eyes which I mean it's not really that big of a deal but I do wish that they were just a little bit more different and for the last shade I'm gonna go into this one right here which is called Mani and I'm just going to be placing this in my outer corner as well as using this to sort of wing out the shadow a bit I'm not going to wing it out a lot at least I say that now we'll see what happens but I don't think I want to have like a huge winged out look today And as you can see, I'm also not really pulling this through my crease at all because you'll see what I have planned after and you'll go, ah, that kind of makes sense. At least I hope so. We're going to see what happens. But I think this look is going to come out pretty cool. And I mean, this mirror is just not really vibing with this look at all. Maybe it's just me that don't like pink and green together, but I just, especially this kind of pink, I feel like a neon pink could look good with this look, but this pink right here is just a little bit too muted. So I've yet to decide fully what I want to do on my lower lash line, which I, mean, I feel like I never really decide until last minute, but I like to just keep my options open, you know, because I like to see how my lid is looking before I go in and do something that I might regret later because, yeah, I could do the obvious. I could just go in with all the greens on the lower lash line too, but I don't think I want to do that. Right, so I mean that was super easy. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna take my P. Louise base if I can find that somewhere. There it is. So I'm gonna take my P. Louise base and I'm going to do a half cut crease. I will just fast forward and not really explain this because it's kind of boring to watch someone do a half cut crease, you know? So the cut crease is done and what I want to do next is I actually want to go in with black and I want to kind of do a black line just like on top of my cut crease here and then I'm going to go in with some of these shimmers afterwards and still make sure that I have a black line left after all of this is said and done. We'll see how this goes. I've never really done this before so I'm going to take this black shadow now and I'm just going to be packing this on like the first or really most of the cut crease line up here. And this might end up looking kind of strange. I don't really know. I'm just using a small lip brush to do this with. Probably could use an eyeliner brush too, but I want this line to be kind of thick so that when I go in with the shimmers, I can kind of layer the shimmers on top. So I think this is looking pretty even. I think this is looking pretty cool. So what I want to do next is, do I want to do the blue or do I want to do the green? That is the question. Maybe I'll do, I kind of want to do the blue, but I also kind of want to do the blue on the lower lash line. Hmm. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and do the blue actually. I think I'm just going to put the blue all over my lid. So I'm going to go in with Mina, which was this shadow right here. And I'm just going to pack this, let me just start like on the outside here. And I'm not going to be covering up all of this black, I'm going to make sure that there's a bit of a line of black, but I want it to kind of be thinner on the outer part here and then a little bit thicker on the inside. So I think this is what we're looking at. I think that looks kind of cool actually. And I'm next going to take a bit more of that dark green shade and I'm going to work on just making sure the blend out here is looking nice. So now the question is, what do I do next? I am kind of tempted to go in with Jade and just put that in like the very first part of where I put down that blue, just layer that kind of on top. Let me just try that. I don't want too much of this. I just want this part here to be a little bit brighter. I need to spray this. I'm just going to put some of that right here. 
I'm not seeing a huge difference doing this. That's kind of a shame. I kind of wish that I didn't put the blue all over and that I put this in the inner part. So I think what I want to do for my lower lash line is that I want to go in with this shadow right here, which is called Mahia. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just pull this all the way across. I'm also going to go in with a bit more of a fluffier brush and I'm going to take Erin, which was this shadow right here. And I'm just going to put a little bit of this underneath here to help blend this out. I'm also going to go back in with uh, this shadow right here, which was called Jade, which is the, the lightest of the shimmers. And I'm going to put that on the first half of my lower lash line, just kind of layering that on top. Just to bring back a little bit of lightness here. I hope this isn't cheating, but I also am going to use some of my steel glitter. This is in the shade Mint Myth, and I'm going to put that in the just first part of my lid here because I do want to lighten this up a bit like I tried to do with the uh, shimmer, but that one just didn't really want to layer. So I'm going to take a brush and I'm just going to be applying that to the first third or so of my lid here just to add a bit of an extra pop because I feel like I just needed something a bit lighter here with the black being so close to my inner corner. So I think this is looking a lot better. I like this a lot more. I think I'm also going to take just a tiny bit of this on my lower lash line as well. Just right here. Oh, that is so pretty. So I think that is going to be the completed look. Now I need to put something in my waterline. Do I want to do something blue maybe? I kind of want to break it up with some blue. Could I maybe do some white as well? I think I just want to go with the blue. So I'm going to take Prance by Coltrop. Maybe I'll try the new Prance. These are supposed to be the same. Yeah, they actually look to be the same too, which is nice. So I'm going to pop this in my waterline, put on some liner mascara, and I will be right back. All right, so this is going to be the eye look all complete. I think this turned out really fun, actually. And I'm kind of digging the black in the crease. I wasn't sure how I'd feel about it, but I need to put on something for lips, so I think I'm just going to go with a lip liner and a lip gloss. So for my lip liner, I'm going to use Lumiere by Colourpop, which is kind of like a... How would I explain this? I don't know, it's kind of pinky nude, I guess. And then on top, I'm just going to put my Fenty Gloss Bomb in Fuzzy. So I kind of want to go with a bit of like a pink on my lips, but not like too pink, you know what I mean? I definitely could also just go for like a very nude, but I kind of want to do something a bit different, so I'm going to put this on. Okay, so this is the completed look. Remember earlier when I said I don't really like pink and green together? Well, I thought I would go with a pink lip to kind of prove myself wrong, and I think this turned out really pretty. So I just want to say thank you so much to Alexandria and Lindsay for wanting to do this with me, because I love doing these. They are so much fun. I can't wait to see what you guys create. I feel like all of our looks are going to be so different. So I am so excited, and I hope you guys enjoyed this little face-off that we did. And let me know if you want to see more of these. It's pretty easy to, you know, find people to do these with, because it seems like everybody wants to do these. So yeah, thank you so much guys for watching as always. If you are new to my channel, I would love it if you would consider subscribing and I will see you in my next one. Bye.